So if you remember a video from a couple of weeks back, we put together a new encoding PC. We managed to pack in a Threadripper, two 4K60 Pro Elgato capture cards, and all of the bells and whistles you would expect from a high-end PC. Now, if you caught our stream yesterday, you would have seen that we were running at 1080p, 60 frames a second, at 6,000 bitrate on the slow preset. I would love to tell you that we got it down to running at placebo, but it crashed our computer. So what we're going to do today is take a look at a few comparisons between footage that we take from a few different benchmarks. We're going to look at the Division benchmark because it has some nice slow panning shots and we can see how that works. We've got the Far Cry 5 benchmark which has heaps of foliage for us to look at. And there's a lot of fast movement in the For Honor benchmark that we can check out and see how we perform there. Let's kick things off by looking at the For Honor benchmark. You can see here we're running at 720p at 60 frames a second. We've got a bitrate of 3000 and we're using the slow preset on the CPU. Now you can already see that when we double that bitrate, we start to see a whole bunch more definition. But you really notice that bitrate difference when you look at things like gradients, especially here in this explosion. And as we up the resolution to 900p while keeping the same 3000 bitrate, you can really see that we're stretched thin. The edges of the leaves and the stone and the stairs really kind of get lost. And if we up that resolution to 600p while maintaining that 6000 bitrate, we see that we hit a pretty nice level of detail on the trees. So if you are thinking of upping that resolution, make sure you have the bitrate to support it first. Moving on now to the Far Cry 5 benchmark, we're going to try out some new encoding presets. You can see we've changed it here to super fast. It's going to be less intense for our CPU at the trade-off of quality. And you can definitely see here already at the 6000 bit rate compared to the 3000, we're getting a lot more depth of color. As we stop here on a pretty consistent shot, we're going to change that CPU preset to slow and see how much detail we can preserve. You'll see a lot more detail in that chain link fence and in the stones on the 3000 bit rate. And at the 6000 bit rate, those trees really start to stand out. Obviously the ripples on the water at 6000 bit rate with this CPU preset look fantastic. But even if we switch back to the 3000 bit rate on the super fast preset, it still holds up pretty well as long as there's not too much movement. Now the division at 720p with the 3000 bit rate and that slow CPU preset looks pretty good. Without much action on the screen, this can definitely work. And even if we up that bitrate to 6000, there isn't too much of a difference. Or at least not as much as you'd expect. Alright, enough 720, let's bump those both up to 1080p. You can see that at these higher resolutions, the 3000 bit rate really isn't holding up when it comes to things like smoke. So these are the current settings that we're using on our stream. But I also got a private message on Discord from Nemesis Z who had some awesome custom X264 encoding settings. So a huge shout out to Nemesis Z. These settings are awesome and we're definitely gonna be using them on the live stream very, very soon. 
All right, hopefully that gives you a little bit more information on how you can set up your own stream with OBS and the things you need to look at when you're trying to get the best possible result out of your stream. Again, understanding exactly how CPU preset, resolution, and bitrate can affect your stream is really important when you're putting together your own setup. And it's really going to change depending on what type of game you're playing. For example, the settings you'll need to stream a game like Hearthstone with minimal screen movement compared to a game like Rainbow Six Siege can and should be wildly different. I know it's tempting, but before you hit start streaming, make sure you do a bunch of local recordings inside OBS using the stream encoder. Play around between 720, 900, 1080p. Combine that with different CPU presets and bit rates, and you'll start to see exactly how good you can make your stream look. Also, you can encode on your GPU as well, but that's a topic for another day. If that's something you're interested in, you'll want to check out Epos Vox's videos. He's the authority on all things OBS, and his videos will get you sorted quick smart. I'll drop a link to his channel down below so you can find that. If you want to see for yourself in the real world exactly how good this stream looks in practicum, you can find us on twitch.tv slash Engon. And as always, there's a bunch of links for Twitter, Discord, and such like down below. And if you want to see more content like this from us here on the Uplay PC team, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit like, and leave a comment because that's what lovely people do. And that's going to be all for today. We'll see you next week. Bye.